Surecart version 1.15 just went live and we've got a lot of things in here that you guys have been asking for and I'm going to give you a quick glimpse at them right now. We also have on the channel full videos on each of these if you want to dig a little deeper. So let's get started. So the first one is we now have an integration for Learn Dash groups. So when you go to products, these are different than courses. So I'm gonna go into this product right here. And when you click on add an integration, you'll see an option here for Learn Dash groups. And then it's going to show a list of the Learn Dash groups that you've created. For the next new item, it's right here. I'm gonna to refer to the knowledge base article that we have created on it. So now you can create your customer dashboard as well as your order confirmation pages inside of your page builder because we know not everybody wants to use the WordPress block editor. Now that's gonna give you the best experience, the most customizable experience and a beautiful UI, but we understand that's not what everybody wants to use. So now if you're using a page builder and you want to create your customer customer dashboard and your order confirmation pages. You can do that right here with these short codes. It's very flexible. I definitely suggest that you check out the video here on the channel that goes over this in more detail. It is so easy and so customizable. And lastly is the big one. We now are fully integrated with the Stripe payment methods. So Stripe is much more than a credit card. You can enable multiple methods and I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick and we also have a full video on that. It's very simple to get going. So you have to first log into your Stripe dashboard, then click on the settings icon here in the top right. Click right here where it says payment methods on the left. And this is a lift list of the different payment methods that Stripe has available. All the ones that we are gonna let you use on share cart you'll be able to just click on turn on you'll notice there's two here that we're not supporting just yet which is affirm and afterpay but we do support Klarna if you want to use that for a buy now pay later but you can see in the list here by default when you create a stripe account it's going to turn on apple pay and google pay but we've got alipay we've got wechat pay we've got these bank redirect methods like check this out ideal i mean these are ones that you guys have been asking for and you can start using them right now. And then down here, the bank debit payment methods. And these are gonna be really low transaction fees for you. So we have Canadian pre-authorized ACH uh, direct debit. This is gonna be US and SEPA. I don't know if it's pronounced SEPA because we don't use that here in the States, but we have this here as well. Now, if you notice, all of them are these like accordions. And when you click on it, it will expand out the options. So for example, for SEPA, I click on it, it's gonna expand this out and it's gonna give you the details. These are delayed payment methods. So you just expand it on out and you can see some of the details of it. If you've already turned it on, which I turned these on, they're not on by default, I've turned them on. You'll see, uh, here's an option to turn them off if I want. Now, when you turn it on, it's gonna tell you just to confirm, it might confirm some information. So with these bank ones, it said, this is a delayed thing. So it pre-authorizes, you're not gonna get your money until a delayed time frame is past and it says some stuff about webhooks you don't have to worry about anything webhook related that was automatically done for you when you connected stripe to shirtcart so you don't have to worry about any of that so these are all listed out right here so step one is to come in here and enable the payment methods that you want then you're going to need to go back into your Surecart dashboard. There's a setting we need to enable. So I'm going to go down here to settings and then I'm going to go here to advanced and it's right here. It says beta features and it says use the Stripe payment element. Just go ahead and toggle this on. I guess we can actually remove this beta feature option or label because it's no longer a beta feature. We'll do that in the next update, uh, but then you just need to go ahead and toggle this on. And then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is test the form. So I've enabled it on my site and I have that bank ACH. So if I click right here to this particular, 
particular checkout page and I scroll down, you're going to see it's going to look a little different when you enable this. So you can see right here, there's this accordion. So the more payment methods that you have available, if the location of the buyer tells Stripe to display that, for example, I'm in the States, so it's going to show me US Bank. So it's just going to show this accordion of the different payment methods. So if I'm here, I can click right there where it says bank account and then boom, I can search for my bank. I'm in test mode, but if I wasn't, I could search for my bank and go ahead and set up an ACH as a payment method. And what's nice about it is very low fees, but you don't get your money right away, but it's very low fees. And that's the three new things that we're bringing out in this release. Let us know what you think about. Oh, there's actually one more cool thing for my European friends. Let me go into the settings. Let me go into processors. Actually, let me click on this to go into the platform. Check this out. We are working on Molly. Uh, we have a laser focus right now on Molly, offline payments, Razor Pay, um, Mercado Pego, and Paystack. So we can cover a lot of the globe. We're working on that right now. I thought you'd be excited about that. So, anyways, we made this for you. We want to hear what you think about it. I hope you enjoy this update.